It is my great pleasure to welcome you to this auspicious occasion of announcing to the world the achievement of our ISO 17025 accreditation. Quality is at the center of everything we do, and this achievement is a testament to our commitment to quality and to doing work well. Our work here at the Forensic Laboratory is pivotal to criminal investigations and the justice system. Our work can be the difference between an acquittal and a conviction. It impacts our society, our children, and ourselves. We must endeavor to always work with the utmost integrity and quality so that our work withstands any scrutiny. I want to recognize the staff of the laboratory today who put their shoulders to the wheel and persevered to achieve this milestone. I'm extremely proud to lead a team of enthusiastic, energetic, engaging, entertaining, and effervescent women and men who build each other up, pull each other up, and cheer each other on every day. What an awesome team you are. We hope to add to our services with the firearms unit and the absorption of the crime scene unit, the future looks bright. So on behalf of my deputy director, I welcome everyone to the St. Lucia Forensic Science Laboratory, ISO 17025 accredited and committed to continuing the good work we have started. Welcome. I am pleased to announce that the St. Lucia Forensic Science Laboratory has been granted ISO IEC 17025-2017 accreditation, the standard for general requirements for the competence of testing and calibration laboratories. This makes our laboratory the only forensic laboratory within the OECS and one of two within CARICOM to achieve this milestone. Accreditation for the analysis of controlled substances, firearms and tool marks, and forensic biology has been granted by the American Association of Laboratory Accreditation, A2LA. The accreditation process determines the technical competence and integrity of organizations offering testing services. This journey started in 2019 with the development and implementation of a quality management system. Although challenging, we pushed through 2020 and 2021, and we were aided by several individuals and organizations to continue with our implementation and continuous improvement. These people include Dr. Valerie Fuller, Mrs. Betty Comby, and organizations such as the St. Lucia Bureau of Standards and the Strategic Capacity Group. In March of this year, assessors of A2LA conducted an external audit to independently assess quality management system of the laboratory and our testing services. Although a laboratory does not require accreditation to operate, the ISO 17025 accreditation offers an organization a competitive advantage, not only regionally, but also internationally. We, St. Lucia, are now able to complete on a global stage. Accreditation literally means giving confidence. As consumers, we want to be able to trust the quality of the products and services that we use. This accreditation assures that the justice system and the St. Lucian public, that the, laboratory that the laboratory's processes and technical staff meet international best practices. As part of this accreditation, regular checks will be conducted by the accreditation body to ensure that the lab maintains its compliance. This year, we upgraded our DNA unit to include more advanced equipment and technologies 
to improve our DNA analysis capacity. After months of completing our required studies, the unit recently came online. Therefore, we, <laughs> therefore, we are definitely going to expand our scope of accrediting, accredited testing services to include DNA analysis during our next scheduled check in March of 2023. Permit me to thank and congratulate the staff and management of the laboratory who strive to uphold our mission to provide an unbiased, ethical, quality, and scientific forensic service to St. Lucia. This job is not one for the faint-hearted. It requires relentless dedication, their daily work and passion for the cause of justice has led us to this moment. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it, it, it is pleasing to be present this afternoon to hear two things. One, we have reached international standards. I always made a point that there are no St. Lucian standards. We have to have international standards, global standards. And the very fact is that the people at the forensic lab or the forensic services unit have understood that it's necessary for us to get to international standards, global standards, is something that you must be proud of and you should, you should give yourself a round of applause. <laughs> and your standards have been accepted by an, an international body again. You, you haven't got to measure from St. Lucia, you have to measure from the world, and the very fact that you've been accepted by an international body that will frequently check you, you will not have it and put it aside. It has to be frequently checked. And that, again, is testimony to the fact that we are getting where we need to get. I'm also pleased, as Minister of Finance, I, I got a note from my press secretary that says, you can charge for your services. <laughs> And in these times, any time the Minister of Finance has about receiving money, his, his, <laughs> his heart lightens. <laughs> so I hope you do not do like me when I was in private practice, but collect your fees. <laughs> but also, it, it, on, 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 on a different note, the very fact that we have, it's a fact that we have an upsurge of crime in the country. In fact, we have an upsurge of crime in the region. And it's something that when, at the last Heads of Government conference that I went to, we, all prime ministers, were very concerned about the upsurge of crime in this region. It looks like suddenly there's been a, a, a real ill wind of crime in, in, in the region. Why the jury is still out. But most of that crime is gun related. And the very fact that we have the ability now in Tenusha, or soon to have the ability to do forensic testing on firearms, forensic testing on, on missiles and bullets, is something that should help us deal with the crime situation. Our criminals are always thinking. So we have to be ahead of them. And if you think that you can use the science, the criminals will use the science just as you, even better than you. So we have to be one step ahead. We have to ensure that what we do, we do it well. And then comes the other part of it, the justice system, where you have to prove somebody is, somebody is innocent until proven guilty. But when you find them, but guilt only comes without any reasonable doubt. And hence the reason for the science. Because any time there is reasonable doubt, the, the, the defendant goes free. So it's a situation which makes you even more important that you have to be accurate, you have to be precise, and you have to use the science to the best of your ability. So I wish you luck. I'm very pleased that we are, we are reaching the stage where our lab is the only lab in the Eastern Caribbean that is certified. Um, 
it's very, I will I'll surely be boasting to my colleagues <laughs> and invite them to send the service there to which we, we are going to charge them. Yes. Because I think most of them send their samples to, to the US, etc. So we can do it here. So um, I want to thank Ms. Henry and, and the staff, um, mainly ladies, it's two guys, excuse me, three guys, three gentlemen, four gentlemen. Uh, so it's kind of even equal. I want to thank you for what you do. I always see when you work in law enforcement or you work in, in, in the medical field, etc. we can never pay you for what you do. You surely can get paid better anywhere else in the world because of, the, because of what you do. But it's a testimony of your labor for love of the country. And I think it doesn't matter what the, the, the monetary payment that you get. It's a matter of what you produce for your country and how you can make your country safer. A good lab should make our country safer. I want to thank you very much and wish you all the best. Thank you very much. We have gathered to recognize and applaud the achievement of a significant milestone by the St. Lucia Forensic Services, Services Laboratory and by extension, the government of St. Lucia. Today, we recognize the attainment by the lab of ISO 17025 standard accreditation. The ISO accreditation signifies that the St. Lucia Forensic Services Lab satisfies the general requirements of competence, impartiality, and consistent operation for forensic services. Achieving this milestone starts with a vision, an ambition, a dream, followed by putting in the hard work to achieve this ambition. Hence, my congratulatory statement today will be on two counts. Firstly, I wish to applaud the management and staff of the St. Lucia Forensic Services Lab, the administrative arm of the Ministry of Justice, and all other agencies involved in framing the vision for forensic services accreditation. Your foresight in recognizing the need to provide forensic services at internationally accepted standards to support the St. Lucia justice dispensation process is worthy of real reviews. Thank you and congratulations. This is no less than the people of St. Lucia deserve. Bravo. <laughs> Secondly, I wish to recognize and appreciate the tireless efforts of the management and staff of the forensic lab in seeing the vision of ISO accreditation through. I know the journey was not easy. From obtaining buying of the dream to securing budgetary provisions necessary in this tight fiscal space, to defining and implementing the structural and procedural changes necessary, to developing human capacity and successfully overseeing the change management. You started the journey and completed it. You've made it. Mission accomplished. Congratulations. <laughs> now that we have achieved, the mission is to maintain and sustain this accomplishment in the interest of the people, in the interest of the people of St. Lucia. I implore us all to remain steadfast in the sustenance of this milestone. Congratulations to the St. Lucia Forensic Laboratory. Congratulations to the government and people of St. Lucia. I deem it a great honor and privilege to propose the vote of thanks on this occasion. First and foremost, I thank our special guest, Honorable Prime Minister Philip J. Pierre, who despite his busy schedule, has found time to grace us 
on this occasion. I also express my heartfelt thanks to our Permanent Secretary and our Deputy Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Justice for their valuable contribution and continued support. Thank you. Thanks to the team from the Government Information Service and all other government officials here with us today. I owe special gratitude to the management, technical, and administrative staff of the St. Lucia Forensic Science Laboratory for their valuable contribution and hard work which ensured that this occasion became a success. Once again, thank you all and good afternoon.